people. Um, the issue of a man and his wife, um, perhaps sitting on a sofa or some other place of comfort, and the husband delivers a kiss on the wife's face, let's say, for it, or the lips of the wife. Is this an action which nullifies the fast or is permitted? While fasting, if a husband kisses the wife or hugs the wife or shows his love for the wife by kissing on the cheek or the lip or the hand or hugs or embraces, all these things are permissible as long as it does not encourage him to go into an act which is haram for fasting. And this is very well stated in the Hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 3, in the book of fasting, Hadith number 1927, that Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she says that the Prophet used to kiss and embrace his wives while fasting. But he was the best amongst you to control himself. That means the Prophet had the power to control. Similarly, it's mentioned in Sunnah Abu Daud, volume number 2, hadith number 2379, that Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, once, while fasting, kisses his wife. Immediately, he feels sorry and he goes to the Prophet and he says that, O oh Prophet, I have sinned. I have sinned against you and Allah. So the Prophet says, that, what have you done? He says, that while fasting, I've kissed my wife. So the Prophet asks him, that when you gargle or rinse your mouth while doing wudu, does your fast break? So Umar may pleased with him. He said, no. So why bother? Indicating to him that you can kiss and embrace your wife. Furthermore, there's a hadith, which is mentioned in Musnad Ahmad, volume number two, hadith number 6739, one of the Sahaba, he narrates that a young man comes to Prophet Muhammad and asks him that can I kiss my wife while I'm fasting? The Prophet says, no. Later on, an old man comes to the Prophet and asks him that can I kiss my wife while fasting? And the Prophet says, yes. So the Sahaba look amongst themselves that how come the answer is differing? Then the Prophet replies that this man can control himself. So the basic ruling is that if a person knows that he can control himself after kissing or hugging his wife and is sure that it will not lead into an act which will nullify the fast. For example, it will not lead into a sexual intercourse or will not lead into ejaculation. As long as he can control himself, kissing and hugging is permitted. If he cannot control himself and he fears that he will go into the act which will nullify the fast, like intercourse or ejaculation, then it is prohibited for him.